Hello, I'm a little frog and I'm here today to talk to you about the dangers of multiculturalism. That's right, because I'm not just a frog, I'm a stupid, bigoted, ignorant, racist frog. Oh shit, I fell off my finger. Never mind. Here's a book, a book used for sketching, otherwise known as a sketch book. Um, I don't know what the frog thing was about, that was uncalled for. <laughs> Uh, this is a sketchbook for... Oh, oh, look at the hologram stickers. We're living in the future. Holograms. Wow, there's stickers on the back too. Oh, that one's a hologram too. I forgot about that one. Crayon. Wow. Amazing, amazing. This has been my sketchbook for the last sort of year or two. Maybe. I don't know. Um, it's about as full as I can be bothered to get it. So I'm going to start on another one because I like starting new sketchbooks before I finish previous sketchbooks. If you've been keeping up with my videos, which I'm sure you all have, you'll no doubt remember me even making this sketchbook out of other sketchbooks. I carved a spoon from a bigger spoon. Um, look for that video. It's something to watch. That's Gun Viking done with marker pens, Copic markers and shit some white out and some ballpoint because I wasn't happy with the, it's just an octopus it's almost sort of mirroring his tentacle like hair his tendrils oh. of hair look there's a goblin with a spray can he's like a street gangster goblin some girl with tits oh we like tits there's quite a lot of clothing in this sketchbook because obviously I'm known for my nudity nude drawings, my nudie nudes. But it's quite a few like dresses and shorts and things. I like a nice little set of jean shorts. I'm a big fan of the jean shorts with the fishnets, the fishnet stockings like just poking out over the top. Now that was drawn from a photo from a photograph and it didn't have the fishnets so I didn't draw. That's a lovely lady. Flowers in hair, we like that too. Now, a lot of this sketchbook contains spaces that I said in multiple videos that I plan to fill. Like, I was going to draw loads of Naruto stuff over here, because I drew Naruto. Naruto, Naruto, Naruto here. But I never did. I drew a bunch of shit. These are thumbnails for some things. Lovely, lovely girl in a lovely, lovely dress. More lovely girls in lovely dresses. I had a little, a sort of a dress phase, yeah? Drawing dresses. Look how nice they are. Look how shapely and tasty those dresses are. There's a squid with a trident. His shirt says fork. That's weird. That might be relevant to something coming up soon. You'll have to fucking wait and see. <gasps> Practicing the gun viking text that came up on the gun viking book. You all know it. I'm sure you've all got a copy. That's actually my ex. Look at that. Look at the size of it. Um... Again, nice and shapely. Well, I love the, the like the sudden pew, perspective, yeah, foreshortening and perspective and shit. Whole bunch of shit. Puppets and Muppets. We love our puppets and Muppets, don't we, eh? Oh, I, love, I love a good puppet and a Muppet. Well, that's, this could be his little cousin or something. His little racist cousin. Um... Oh, there's a little rabbit on a skull. Oh, tits. There we go. Nude goblins love heart eyeing up those delicious, yummy tits with their pierced nipples. Quite like that one. I like the red because her hair was red, but then I just made whatever. More tit. No quitters, only titters. That's what we like. No quitting, only titting. Looks a little bit like. A dick and balls, or I don't know. Maybe that's what girls are. They're just big dick and balls with their tits. Bears, fat bear season coming up, or is now? Is that now fat bear season? We like a good fat bear. We like tits. We like fat bears, goblins, puppets, killing people. See, this this had the 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 caption um, when you lose passion for things you used to love. Look how. Unimpressed, unenjoyed he is in the task that he usually finds great love and enjoyment in. Killing a fucker 
and not really being into it, but doing it because you have to. More dresses, lovely girls in lovely dresses. And lovely girls in, in not so dresses. The shape of that, delicious. I could take a bite right out of it. That's a duck. That's a tit with legs. I don't really need to point at shit and go, that's what this is, this is what that is. That's part of my big arm crew. One big arm, one little arm. A charger from, from the old Left 4 Dead. Is he in Left 4 Dead 2 only, or is he in the first one? I don't remember. That was a draw this in your style for a friend's D D T I Y S. Detius. Detius. Uh, I quite like that one. The the actual thing was like a girl with hair and like these balls in her hair. <laughs> balls. Um, obviously, I changed it because what's the point in just doing it if you're not going to do it the way you do it? To change it to how you do it, these are designed for a toy. Goblins, little tiny, tiny little nubbin penises. You like those squids and things. Turtles and squids. Squirtles and tids. That's what we like. Really like this one. I like the shapes. See, it's like, a, see, it's like the head of this toy. But I used it as like a turtle shell with the turtle coming out and then a squid on top for some reason. I don't know. I thought it was cool. Some very loose rough concepts for the Zilla Survivors post-apocalyptic comic idea I had. Me. When I'm out of the shower drying off. Helicoptering my penis about. That's the, uh, the pinkest pink paint. Testing that out with a little bit of flesh tea flesh bob. Checking out more of them. Jean shorts, or do they call them jorts? Mice, mouses, meeses and mooses. More lovely girls. The black veil. Really hard to draw, like, the detail in lace, in a black veil over a face, in ballpoint pen. <sighs> I do what I can, I do what I can. Some pink zigs, a little dwarf zombie, that's funny. Imagine if you were being chased by a horde of zombies, but they were all little dwarves. You'd you'd have your 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 politically uh, socially conscious head on, going well. They have just as much right to be zombies as do tall people. I was going to say normal as do taller people. People who are born around about a more average height, they could be zombies. There's no reason you can't have little people who are zombies. Uh, but at the same time, you'd fall on your ass laughing because you're being chased by a bunch of zombie midgets. And that's funny. Um, look, one big arm, a whole crew of one big arm people. That one's pink. A burger with legs and eyes and a penis. These are some claw machines. I was going to do a whole bunch of shit with claw machines. I still plan to, but, you know, I've got to do work that actually makes me money. I'd love to spend all my time drawing fucking claw machines full of funny things. That was going to be like the idea. But, uh, you know, I've got to pay rent, build them, and eat burgers for a burger party. That was a thing. More dresses. Mm. Mm. Uh, I just liked the picture of that girl, so I drew it. I do that sometimes. I don't always draw nudity and pornography. This was cool. These were like concept sketches, kind of, for a bit that big uh, Spider-Man villains piece, the painting I done did. And this was figuring out how I'm gonna fucking draw all these villains. As was a list of some of them. Um, some of them I did do. Some of them I did. I didn't do Hobgoblin, Sandman, or Shocker, or Lizard. I did the others. I had ideas to cram more in, but I just couldn't couldn't make it work. There's a funny little octopus. Oh, what's he doing there? He's not part of my video. What's going on? And my unique body. Like one of them. A mm. skateboarding goblin. That's fucking badass. Like he's pushing on his skateboard. He's fucking doing a trick. Don't know what. He's just jumping. Doing a jump on a skateboard. God, I should draw more skateboarding goblins. I should. I like goblins. I like skateboard. Why don't I merge the two? Marry them? They can have post-marital intercourse for the purposes of procreation and make babies that are 
skateboarding goblin. These are a bunch of doodles I did um, in order to then draw them in the, the opening of the Gun Viking book. Like sign it with a doodle and these are some of the doodles I doodled in the doodle do. That's fucking whatever his name is. Is it Crumb or Crunk or Zunk or Crumb or Cum or Punk or Scum, Bum, Crumb, Be Dumb? Summoning that guy from ah! Real Monsters. I really like that drawing, actually. I, really like it. I say actually as if I wouldn't expect to, but I, I like it. I like a nice under boob. Under boob, side boob. Do you know what's really great? Because, as you might know, I'm a ridiculously huge fan of bikinis in general. One of my favourite things is, if this is some broad, look, some big pouty broad with big eyelashes, she's got a tits. What I like to see in bikinis and clothes in general is when you see the centre of the boob covered as such, with like a bikini or whatever, but then the sides are kept bare. Yeah. And that's some good shit when there's like the shadow of the boob and whatnot. I can draw better than this, I promise. I'll show you my actual drawings sometimes. Sometime even. Oh, guess you haven't slept. Um, blue. There's a song about that. Green. Can you name all the characters? Probably. Green. That colour, yellow. Oh, almost forgot the name of the colour. Orange. Red. Pink. There's a bit of pink. Whoa. Give her a bit of pink. Ooh. Go on, son. Get it. Um, nudes. Lovely, lovely nudes. Really happy with this one. With the, the hatching, shading, the, the pink on the face, and the. Oh, this one's good too. I'm happy with the shape of this one. And like the, the, the hatching on this one. Same girl. Different poses, different photos, different angles. Um, yep. Oh, no, oh no, things are falling. Um, hi. Faces. Faces and noses. We love a good, a good, what do they call that? Like a Roman nose or something? A big, big fucking schnoz. Uh, we like those. I have fucking. I've got, I've ranted about this before and I will rant about it again. Fucking hate when girls complain and then even go to the lengths. They complain and say they want to get plastic surgery to fix, fix, whatever the fuck that means, their nose, their big nose. And then I've known girls who have gotten plastic surgery to I've multiple, about three or four I know personally that have, have edited their nose with the use of surgery. And I just fucking like this is a cute nose. Love little cute noses, but also love what's considered a bigger nose. It's just a different shape of nose. It's a different kind of nose. They're all fucking that's gorgeous shit, man. Don't fucking oh, I'll cut my face up and then I'll be fucking acceptable to society. Complain. Go on. Sit there complaining about oh, you don't understand how hard it is to be a woman because of society's expectations about your beauty standards and stuff. Yeah, that shit sucks. What are you going to do about it? I'm going to get surgery so I can fit in with society's beauty standards. Well, what the fuck are you complaining about then? Don't complain about it and then fucking get surgery so you can fit in with it, you fucking dummies. Don't worry, men are stupid too, but that's a particular... That was quite the rant. These were random splotches of paint I made, and I turned them into really uninteresting, boring drawings that make no sense. That's a skull, that's a weird horse, a fish or something. This guy's doing something, that's a robot. Fuck knows. Oh look, it's a naked witch. That's a skull. Oh my, I think it's this skull. Yeah, yeah. It's almost, I almost drew it accurately. Uh, that's the, the members of the Nine Club podcast video series. Um, I may or may not actually do a full drawing of them. I'd like to. I'd like to do a full drawing of them. I think I've got their likenesses quite good, actually. If you know them, you might know them. Here we go. Zilla Survivors characters. Just it's a couple of kids in post-apocalyptic Britain. Um, you know, England laid to waste, as it should be. Uh, 
There's a dog. Uh, I really like these, and they got quite a lot of love on Instagram. Um, they were basically just off the top of my head, just a couple of sort of little post-apocalyptic survivor kids, I think, you know. Obviously, one, one thing being, uh, you know, we, there are guns exist in England, but like farmers have shotguns, some very small amounts of like sections of the police force have guns. Um, and then there's a few other sort of guns around. But in general, you can't get guns. I, I was talking to one guy at college once and we were talking about our plans, you know, our zombie fucking zombie survival plans, our contingency plans for when the zombie apocalypse happens. And he said, well, I'll just go to the police station and get all their guns. Like, it'd be that easy. Even in, you know, the times of, of apocalyptic zombie Armageddon, that you could just fucking waltz into a police station and get their guns, which, for one thing, most police stations do not have. Um, it's certain divisions in certain places that have guns. They don't just have guns at police stations. Fucking numb nuts that guy that cool drawing i like that that was quite a cool drawing too that was playing with that new pen i got i really like this this casual thule that was a really neat little piece a lot of other people seem to like that one as well so that's cool wow possibly the best spread in the book i'm really really happy with that's based on a sculpture that i saw and copied for my own means to get likes on the internet that's what it's all about but it came out really good. I really, really like that drawing. Um, it's almost, with shit like this, I love drawing in a sketchbook and I love doing really cool drawings in a sketchbook as well as, you know, just loads of silly rough shit. But it's almost a shame because, like, that would make a cool piece to like, hang up or sell or whatever. But it's in a sketchbook across two pages with other drawings, like, in either side of it. Um, that was based on, well, it's, it's a drawing of a, an owl with no feathers. Have you ever seen an owl with no feathers? That's what they look like. They're fucking weird, weird fucking alien monstrous looking things. Um, but, you know, I'd still fuck one. Uh, that was a dragon and an orc fight. And a, that was a Skyrim thing I did. Oh, there's a headless gay picture. That's a reference to one of my episodes you might know. There's a gun viking page. Look, it's post-apocalyptic millhouse. It's like that, but that. Because that's the thing I'll be doing as well, eventually. I, I think I will. I am. I'm planning it. It's good. Look, here's more post-apocalyptic millhouse. Holy shit. Uh, so uh, some octopuses, octopi, octopodes, octopussy. I mean, like a good pussy joke. Aren't they cute? Those are based on like stuffed animals, like cute little stuffies, as they call them, as the girls call them, stuffies. No, fucking stupid. Um, oh, that was a sticker. That's come off. I literally just put that in there just to fill up the page. Uh, it was like a commission uh, for like Dr. Mario with a tattoo gun in like the old Game Boy colours. I was really happy with that. And then the guy was like, oh, I thought it would be a bit crazier, which is fine. I'm not bad mouthing the guy but when he told me to, what he wanted me to draw he just said dr mario with a tassage but he wants it a bit more i guess a bit more expressive so um i'll do that so so now this this one's mine then now so i put it in my sketchbook that's a very rough draft for another commission classic horror monsters invisible man frankenstein not his monster frankenstein that's the actual doctor uh fish boy and Vampire. Dracula, creature from the whatever. Creature from the African-American lagoon. These pages are blank. I could fill them up, but I probably won't, because I don't care. <laughs>